Hey, hey. I'm up here in the mountains, just having a wonderful time. It's my last weekend for deer season, regular season, antlered. Oh, haven't filled my license yet. It's been so warm. Haven't heard any shooting this morning either. It's about 10 o'clock. Thought I'd walk back to the truck. You know, maybe I'll make a video of uh, some of the stuff that I took with me. Uh, I want to go through it anyhow. And everybody has their own system, but I thought I'd uh, show you a couple things that I've been using and seem to have worked out for me pretty good. Uh, this is a, uh, a small pack. It's real lightweight, and that's kind of important to me. Uh, I like to take, uh, let me just, let me just kind of throw on my setup here. Well, you see in the video, I'll put my, uh, uh, you gotta have an orange shirt and orange hat guess that's in the cab. Uh, this is a, oh, like a skull cap that you can tie on, but I put it on the back of my pack for a little color. Uh, some of the things I like to carry with me, I like to have a snot rag, blow your nose, uh, wipe your hands. In an emergency, you can wipe your hind end with it. And uh, in this compartment here, I've got some dental floss. Let's just go through it. I got some earplugs. I have a Swiss Army knife. Uh, I have a butane lighter. I have a pair of tweezers. Uh, there's a pair of tweezers with the Swiss Army knife, but walking through the brush or just doing different things, sometimes you can get uh, get a little sliver or something. Uh, some safety pins. Those make. Uh, my dad used to call these bachelor buttons. I think that's pretty funny and uh, a good name for them as well. Uh, let's see, got some waterproof matches. Uh, got a pair of fingernail clippers. Fingernail clippers, you say, what do you got those things for? But I'll tell you, when you're sitting quietly in the woods and the sun comes up, you start looking at all kinds of things, including your fingernails. Uh, you might get a uh, hangnail, if you're the type of person that chews finger, your fingernails, and uh, it's just one of those things that's nice to have. You can clip things with it. Uh, here's just a little nylon bag with some uh, paracord in it. And the way I would use this paracord, if I was going to uh, do anything with a deer, I think what I would do is, uh, like if I had to drag it, you could wrap this around the, the antlers or wherever you want to uh, pull from and then get a stick, uh, a tree branch, and tie the end of the end of that, and then you've got something stout because you're not gonna pull a 150, 200 pound deer with with this in your bare hands, that's for sure. Uh, and here, this is supposed to be uh, kind of like a reflector, as well as a uh, compass, and what I did was just took some cardboard wrap that reflective tape around it so that the compass doesn't get all scratched out. Emergency whistle. Uh, another small Swiss Army knife. Got some spare bullets. Yeah, let's see. In this one I've got some chapstick. Got some candy bars, some gum. Uh, flashlight, spare battery for the flashlight, some uh, nylon tie straps so that I can tie my license when you, after you make your kill, you're supposed to sign your license and tag your animal immediately, and so that's what this is for. Alright, here I've got a very small uh, AM FM radio and it also has a clock in it with the earbuds. I've got another hanky. Uh, in the mornings I like to put something like this around my neck and then as I get hot and start sweating during the day I take it off. 
toilet paper, must have toilet paper, and I've got a uh, some some ear warmers. I'll just take it out. Let's just see. Another hanky. You never know when you might need to loan it to somebody else. Uh, just a little bit of toilet paper and one of those. Uh, I don't know what you call them. Ear muffs. Uh, headband to put around your ears. Uh, tiny cloth for your binoculars, the glasses, whatever you might need there. This does not have booze in it. I picked this up because it was plastic. It has kind of a contour, and I need to carry water in it. And I'm water. Uh, I like to use plastic bags because if you do kill an animal, and you want to uh, take various pieces of meat, maybe the heart or the liver, uh, and bag them up so that uh, they don't get all dirt, dirty. You set them to the side, but uh, those darn camp robbers, those little birds, they'll start picking at it and stuff. So, usually take some extra bags. I take a, uh, a little container of gun oil. This is just some uh, Remington Rem oil uh, and a few patches. You can take a little piece of fishing line and run it down your barrel like a boar snake. Um, if it's raining outside or it starts snowing, your gun starts getting wet, or if your hands are sweaty or bloody and you start getting stuff on the metal parts of your firearm, uh, I like to have some oil with me to uh, keep it from rust enough. It doesn't take long. Uh, here's some uh, little travel pack, brushable, those little moist wipes. Uh, great for obvious things. Here I've got a, uh, a small knife, very sharp, uh, some paracord, a neck so you can wear it around your neck or just have extra cordage if you need it. Seems like you always need cordage for something. Um, another butane lighter. Uh, what's this? Oh, some uh, some nitro gloves. These are just some uh, if you if you want to put some gloves on when you clean your gear just to keep keep less of a mess. Um, I just figured I'd take these along. Extra bags just keeps things separated. Uh, here's uh, some leather shoelaces for my boots. Uh, here's a, uh, a cleaning rod for cleaning rod, a sharpening rod for my knife. Handy to have something with you. And in the back part here. On the outside, I've got a thermometer and a, a little cheesy compass. Uh, I've got a multi-tool here. Something about fire, because here i got another butane lighter. And here I've got a big, extra big trash bag, full-size, like a yard leaf bag. Trash bag. And, you know, it's not that big. It is stuffed pretty hard. You can lean back on it. Makes a nice little backrest. I like to carry uh, uh, these 8 power binoculars. These are the uh, Leopolds that I did uh, uh, review on them a couple years ago. And they still my go-to binoculars for field use. they just easy to focus. They have very good clarity. I don't think I paid a lot for them. You'll have to check that other uh, uh, video that I made if you're interested. I think they were like a hundred, hundred and thirty bucks, something like that. But boy, I sure do like them. Uh, I like to wear some deerskin gloves when I'm walking around. Uh, it prevents you from getting your sweaty hands on the metal parts of your rifle. Uh, I don't want to get cuts and scratches on my hands. It, you could slip and fall to the ground 
and to scratch yourself, get fall into some thorns or branches or something. It really ruins your day when you start bleeding and your hands are very important so I try to protect them all the time. Um, in the first thing in the morning I like to wear gaiters, some kind of gaiters. I've got several different colors, different kinds. I wear gaiters a lot. just keeps bugs from crawling up your pant legs. It keeps the uh, wet grass from getting your clothes all wet. I think that's a good thing. Everybody should have something like that. And here's something that uh, I started to carry. I used to carry something along this line, but this as you're walking through brush, it's noisy. I don't like nylon of any kind. That's why I choose this uh, soft cotton fabric or whatever it is, a poly blend. Uh, because if you're walking through the trees and walking through brush, um, it, it's quieter than if it was nylon. Nylon's warmer. A lot of times it's too warm. You'll start sweating. This is a knee pad for a garden knee pad. And I'll just generally put it over myself and it just kind of dangles behind me. And then when I come up to uh, a log or a rock and I want to sit for a while, if it's wet or cold, I can sit. I'm a little bit more comfortable. I can be still and not move around a little bit longer. And I think that's something good to carry with you all the time. Uh, I carry uh, an old-fashioned uh, pocket watch, a wind-up pocket watch. I just uh, found this in my stuff. I don't want cell phones going off. I don't want dings and dongs. And There's also a clock on my digital one, but there's nothing more reliable than a plain old wind-up clock. And this is kind of a neat one. It uh, seems like you have to look at the time more than once because you can maybe you can see the mechanism in there you start looking at those gears going back and forth and you close it up and you forget what time it was and that's why you opened it in the first place it's a little hard to see but I've had this I think it was a gift when I was in my 20s I don't even remember what the occasion was but I like to carry it I know it works it's quiet reliable. Here I've got some more <laughs> bullets I need to empty out my pockets here. Uh, carry a pen and paper. You get ideas when you're sitting out there being quiet thinking and you start forgetting stuff so you can make lists of things that you want while you're out there. Uh, maybe you use something up that was in your pack or you wish that you had something different. Write it down while you think of it and then you got yourself a list Here's going. An extra tarp. I always have extra. It's just a habit. I don't know why. I I, <laughs> I just got to have extra stuff like lighters and plastic. I don't know if it's a phobia. Extra knives. I, I don't know where that comes from. I think my dad was that way. But uh, um, just I, I'm so much that's where this, you know, people call you a survivalist or something like that. It's not a survivalist. It's what they rammed down your throat when you were in Boy Scouts. Uh, I was in Scouts and loved it. And uh, my kids didn't really take an interest. I didn't want to force them and push them. But, you know, be prepared, be prepared, be prepared. And part of being prepared is, is having enough stuff. And you never know. You might break it, lose it, or somebody else might need it. So, uh, that's... That's the way it works. Talk to you later. Easy jeezy out.